This program contains subject matter, language, and descriptions of sexual violence that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. My name is Kelsey, and I'm an alcoholic and addicted to meth. Kelsey, I think you've had enough. I don't think you need this. Mom, I don't. No. Put it back. You've had enough. Put it back. No. Put it back it's... now. Why? Because I'm going to take a swig of whiskey then. You want to act like this in front of your niece? You're pissing me off. I was smoking about a gram a day, drinking about a 60-pounder a day. Is there a drink? Smoking meth combined with alcohol? You don't, this is, a, it's a demon. Give her a head back. Please, mommy. Give her the head back. Oh, <laughs> sakes. Kelsey, she goes completely psychotic. She's broken phones, she's broken cameras, she's smashed almost every door in my house has a fist mark. She's hit me, she's punched me, she's thrown things at me, she's thrown me into walls. Get the f out of my life! The language, the, the look on her face, the violence, not scared of nothing. I'm trying to help you, Kelsey. Get off! Get off me! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! You're hurting me, your mother! What are you doing? We've thrown her out. We've had the police at our house so many times. We can call the police. So for a long time, she's been living on the streets. We were scared of her. Living on the streets, I mean, she picks the real losers to have boyfriends. Kelsey definitely thinks she's in control of her choices, but... Her mind is clouded. She's really delusional. She'll meet the wrong guy, and she'll get uh, beat up or worse. Well, most of my um, boyfriends have been drug dealers. It's uh, an adrenaline rush, knowing that you're dating somebody that will, will protect you. So if anybody f with you, they would beat the f out of them. But also, if they get angry, they beat the f out of me. She has boyfriends that would come to the house and destroy the property. She's addicted to violence. I'm gonna f up. Hey, 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 what are you doing? She thinks she's tough. Well, she's not tough. What the f are you looking at, dumb bitch? She's been raped on more than one occasion, tossed around like a rag doll. She was in such rough shape that I took her home. But then day two, the physical abuse started again. I would hurt you. Let go. Get out of my room. Can't live that way. And I finally said, if you want to stay here, you cannot use drugs. Because she goes completely psychotic. Get out of my room now. No. But we're letting her drink because we can't have her stop cold turkey because she'll die. Kelsey was born on Christmas Eve, so what a Christmas present for me to bring her home. We were all nice and cozy. Myself, my other daughter, Charlie, my wife, watching her uh, start life. She was great. She was a happy child. She's like her dad, great sense of humor. She was always laughing. I was the shy, timid one, and she was the loud, outgoing, fearless one, the daredevil. She wasn't afraid to be herself around anybody. She had to be the boss. I mean, when she was with the kids and playing tag, she had to be it. But she always had a good sense of humor and always had a kind soul. She had lots of friends. She got A pluses. She never had to study. She was very smart. Soccer was my life. I got offered a scholarship. And then in high school, she started to get pretty self-conscious about herself. I wanted to be skinny so guys would like me more. And I would overeat and i throw it up. So actually she became quite bulimic. And it still continues to this day, except right now that she's using alcohol or drugs, she's not eating at all. So now it's the opposite. So then I got really skinny, really, really, really skinny. She was very popular with the boys. She wanted to be the party girl, so she'd sneak out, she'd go to parties. She still played soccer, and she still did really well at soccer, and she was on the honor roll. And then I f***ed it up when I got raped because I started using drugs. I got raped the first time close to Halloween. I 
after it was Dave was. I was 14, he was 28. It's completely destroyed me as a human being. It turned me into a very angry person. It um, made me lash out. And instead of telling us about it, having us get her some help, she just numbed herself. And uh, got into a lot of fights. That's when the heavy drinking started. She started smoking weed, and then very quickly moved up to ecstasy, moving up to cocaine, and then further and further. The first time I did cocaine, it made me energized. It made me happy. I was doing it only on the weekends, and then a couple of days a week, and then I started doing it every day. I like the people I worked with, and I, uh, excelled at it, but I was doing coke at work, so I was making really bad mistakes on checks, um, like $250,000 like checks. And I kept coming in with black eyes because that's when I was dating this other coke dealer. The high hopes that they had for her were dashed, and she got fired. Every relationship Kelsey has been in ended in violence. I've been raped. I've been beaten, and I've been held hostage before. All these the sexual abuse that she had and the beatings that she's had, she struggles every day with PTSD. She has severe anxiety. She gets severely depressed. So the liquor and the drugs make her feel normal, as she would say. She would find a place to rent. We would pay the rent, bought the groceries, moved all of her stuff there. A month later, she's kicked out. So she ended up on the streets. Her two boyfriends previously beat her face in. She had black eyes, broken cheekbones, were having seizures. And she was left for dead. You have a lot of nerve. You put me in the hospital, you jerk. I had a seizure for my concussion from throwing me around on the train tracks. Yeah. Take a beating. Take a punch for what you did to me. I'm gonna f break your f jaw. Yeah. Try it. Everybody see. Oh, shut the f up. Okay. Or I'm gonna break your f jaw. Or I'm gonna get somebody else to do it. Everything's always about you guys, hey? No, you were never there. We're always there. No, I was always kicked out. Are you kidding me? Oh, when you were raped, we were there for you. Oh, really? You left me alone at the hospital to get a rape kit done by myself. And then when I got out of the bathroom, that's when you left. All these lies. All the lies. lies. liars. You're a liar. I swear on Emma's life, I'm not lying. Oh my don't God. you all own up to it. No, don't, don't you don't. freaking dare oh bring Emma into this. You own up to it. your needs. Your parents have been holding your hand and taking care of you for the last 12 to 15 years and you've been on drugs. No. And don't you tell me different because I know I have watched my daughter deteriorate because of you. No, smart enough. I still love you, Kelsey, but you're pushing me to the limit. That is my daughter. And I am not letting you abuse her anymore. I've had it. I should have slugged you at my house. Then maybe this all this would have been finished. I'd probably clock you back. Well, you oh, oh, you hit me back, and I'd have hit you in jail so fast your head was fine. Oh my God. Another death. Another one of my friends died. Who died? One of my old buyers. One of your old buyers. Well, there you go. Yo, D. Any anger we show, she's going to match with mm -hmm. greater anger. Yep. All right? Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm Andrew. Come on in. Oh, it's okay. Take a breath. I knew this was going to happen. It's OK. Take a breath. Take, take a breath. I know it's a bit of a surprise. Everyone's here because they love you and they care. I knew you guys lied to me. 
That's, you can look at it that way, but they're also trying to save your life. Kelsey, I love you more than life itself. Your alcohol and drug addiction has destroyed you and us. I don't sleep. I push my friends and family away. I have no feelings left and no more tears to shed. I cannot allow you to verbally, mentally, and physically abuse me anymore. Kelsey, please, please accept help and rebuild your life. I will be waiting for you. I'm drinking the rest of my boots that I have in my purse. Deal. Yes, I'll accept it. Right. <laughs> I love you both. Why don't you take a look up and see who's coming in to say hi to you? <laughs> hi, princess. Hi. I love you, princess. I was a hot mess 90 days ago. Now I'm clean and sober and thinking clearly, and I'm so much happier. The street life is definitely a hard one to get away from but I was blessed with this opportunity. How are you? Oh, I missed you. You look great. We're proud of her progress. We're seeing a difference. I love you. Me and my sister talk all the time. She's my rock. She's my diamond. Baby.